Now, the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. It was a little stormy during the day today, especially in Ada County with storms racing from south to north. You're looking here towards the west, and we had that layer of smoke coming in from that fire burning northeast of Jordan Valley, uh, ca causing a pretty orange sunset here. Still that plume of smoke, and that if the wind direction aloft changes just a little bit, which is possible, we could bring some of the smoke over the rest of the Treasure Valley a little bit, but uh, it may end up staying from the southwesterly direction, keeping that plume of smoke in that general direction. Of course, that all determines, uh, depends on how the fire behaves overnight tonight and then tomorrow afternoon when fires tend to pick up, especially with the heat we have coming during the day tomorrow. Here's what's happening right now. In Boise, skies are mostly clear, but temperature sitting at 83. Our east breeze at 12 miles an hour. That's going to keep our temperature up overnight tonight. So I've got a low uh, in generally in the 50s, but I think it could stay in the 60s in the Boise area overnight because of these easterly breeze at the airport. Uh, temperature's going to have a hard time falling too low. 79 for that high temperature in McCall today. Skies are mostly clear. We had some Showers and storms nearby. They were coming in from south to north throughout the entire region. You'll see temperature now 67 in McCall, 58 in Stanley, cooling down in some of those mountain locations, drier air moving in. You folks in Twin Falls just had a shower push on through, a thunderstorm at the top of 30,000 feet in the atmosphere. That's pushing northeast of Twin Falls now. There's a couple of isolated small ones to the south. That's probably the biggest one on the weather map right now. This is just ground clutter, nothing else showing up here. Temperatures in the 80s. I want to show you some wind reports. There it is in around Horseshoe Bend, 70 mile per hour wind today. Limbs down, reported near Overland uh, or Cloverdale, I should say. I believe it was Overland Road. Uh, so limbs down, and also one in downtown Boise. 61 degree, a uh, 61 mile per hour wind gust at the airport this afternoon, and there was a 50 mile an hour wind gust this morning. Did you hear that storm this morning in the Boise area? 58 at the Mountain Home Air Force Base as well. So some pretty strong gusty winds out there. But drier air is working its way, and that tropical moisture is thinning out a bit. You can see near Twin Falls, we're drying out as well. You go down to the south, and you see a lot less. Less of that cloud cover, storms to the west, storms to the east, and right in the middle of that tropical moisture here and here, we have dry air coming in from the south. Now, this is a little glitch here, but in showing some of the reports, we can actually look at this here. Small tree limbs down at uh, 415. Uh, this is the wind damage that we had. Uh, this was the one near Penninger Road and Overland Road. That's where we had that major, or should say, that storm, that uh, tree falling down. I want to show you now, so we're going to zoom on out some severe weather as well. This is Hurricane Hilda, and this is the Hawaiian Island. Islands. Winds at 90 miles an hour is heading right for the Big Island or the southern tip anyway, but it is likely strong wind shear is going to push. I can already tell it's happening here by looking at how this is not uniform. See all the cloud cover to the east side of this? That's because upper level winds are shearing the top off the storm system as it moves to the west. It will likely weaken. There are no warnings out yet, but they're likely to have some very dangerous surf moving into the south and southeast side of the Big Island here. So interesting story, but I don't think it's going to be a strong hurricane moving into Hawaii, but we'll keep a close eye on it for you. In the meantime, there's some dry air over the Treasure Valley during the day tomorrow with sunshine. Some cloud cover tomorrow night, maybe a little bit on Wednesday. A few storms possible in the mountains on Wednesday and maybe on Thursday a few storms in the mountains, but generally not bad in the Treasure Valley with building heat. I say not bad if you don't mind 100 degrees. It is August and we're going to see it tomorrow. Right around 100, a good southeasterly wind will warm the temperatures quickly during the day tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies. I don't expect much cloud cover. Maybe in the evening, mostly sunny skies in the mountains as well with temperatures near 90. And you'll see the East Central Mountains tomorrow, 80 to 85, with breezy conditions, mostly sunny. And the Magic Valley tomorrow, mid 90s are possible, and Twin Falls with lots of sunshine. My on your side extended forecast, 100 degrees in the next few days, but look at the weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday dropping into the 80s into the mountains, temperatures dropping down to near 80 degrees. So a beautiful weekend coming up once we get through three hot days. My YMC mechanical weather picture of the day, beautiful shot sent into the Boise of the uh, Capitol Building. Boise, just a great shot there. You can send your photos into. I contribute at KIVITV.com. Hot day tomorrow, but the storms will be gone. By the end of the week. They're gone the tomorrow. Yeah. The temperatures will be gone. Yeah, by the end exactly. Of the week. Cooler now. Sorry. Thanks, yeah. Scott. Don't call it ping pong. Don't call it tennis. Don't call it volleyball. Coming up on your side introduces you to pickleball.